there's never anything between Clare and Limerick. It's, it's a rivalry. We have a lot of players that are within a mile or two of the Limerick border. And, and that's, it's great because it's something that, on the back of a successful league, what you really needed was a really big game to, to you know, get everyone settled. It, the, the league was forgotten about straight away and it's not going to come any bigger for us than Limerick. The, we played them in Newcastle West. Now the score, we, we, we won well, but it was a lucky goal with about 10 minutes to go and that was really all that was in the game. In fairness, the day we played Newcastle West, I suppose the pitch is a little bit narrower than, than it will be in the Gaelic rounds. So the game was a little bit stop start. It was a lot. Of, we scored a lot of frees. They got a lot of frees as well. So the Gaelic rounds would that be, be that little bit bigger? Um, it was in February, so it's hard to read into how teams were playing then. Like we, we would hope we've improved. There's no doubt at all that Limerick would have improved as well. So on game plans and things like that, you probably read more into what's going on now rather than what happened back then. But it was stop start. It's something we. We would hope to try and work it on, and I'm sure Limerick would be working the exact same way. It's a work in progress, and it is like it's a, it's a very young panel, and it's it's something that we're kind of mindful of that we we will keep making mistakes, and it's it's how we rectify them. And I think the positive for us throughout the years that any time we've lost a game, we've we've managed to win the game after that. So it shows that there, there is a learning process going on, and uh, hopefully going into the championship, some of the things that that we didn't do well in the league, we'll we'll work on and and improve. With the ball, we're we're. Pretty strong. Like we've we've put up good scores. We've players that are comfortable on the ball, um. So that's that's pretty definitely a strength with us. Um, mo movement to the ball fairly quickly, and it, it it's working for us. Um, probably in the league you get a little bit more space than you probably would in championship. So it's something we have to be ready for. But um, definitely we we've we've kind of worked a lot on that this year, and it's something that's it's reaping its rewards at the minute. Anything we look for in the league, we we more or less got out of it. And the bonus was probably picking up the win in in Croke Park. But um, I said at the start of the year, it wasn't really something that was in our our agenda was to try and more or less stay up first. And and if you can get your four points or five points, then you see how much games are left at that. And uh, it happened fairly quickly for us that we kind of got safe enough. So we just say we keep going and worked out that we got promoted and um, when we got to Croke Park then it was kind of a pressure free day it was just go up and play and we, we got the result but I suppose the, the the real reward was before Croke Park at all getting promoted. We were all very young the last time Clare won it so we, we won't uh, get above our station too quickly Um it would be unbelievable for Clare like you can just see the the big days when the hurlers are coming back to Clare after winning all Ireland's and hopefully they'll go and win a Munster as well but it's um it would be unbelievable for the county. It's probably something that nobody would expect. So I don't know how we'd react to. We might never be seen again. But it's definitely um, it's the ultimate goal. Um, we just know we're we're a lot, an awful lot of steps below that right now, and it's about working on on trying to get as as good as we can, and hopefully someday the the chance will present itself. Yeah.